We'll now move on to our public comment section for non-agenda items. The Wednesday night board meeting of the San Dieguito Union High School District was filled with parents, family, and former students of Asian descent who cannot believe what they heard the superintendent said. I just want to say your word deeply hurt me, hurt my family, and also discredited my kids that what they did, what they worked so hard for. The comments were made by Dr. Cheryl James Ward during a district diversity, equity, and inclusion training last week when she characterized and credited the success of the district's Chinese students to wealthy parents and extended Asian families able to support them, unlike other minority groups that can't, she said. The backlash came quickly, as did the superintendent's apology, which she repeated at last night's board meeting. I do apologize to our Asian community. I apologize to the community at large, and I apologize to my students. Dr. Ward has only been San Diego superintendent since November. KPBS News has learned that she is now on administrative leave pending a further investigation. She has apologized publicly twice now with no further comment. We're becoming a no place for hate district. Every school is a no place for hate um, school now. In January, she did speak about her plans for revitalizing the district's efforts in diversity training and awareness following a couple of incidents of hate graffiti sprayed on walls at San Diego Academy. To ensure that our staff understands what it means to be um, an anti-bias educator, what it means to understand their own um, biases, and that the, the, the work is is ongoing. Not everyone is demanding a resignation. Molly Woods Drake is president of Encinitas for Equality. I believe the approach is counsel, not cancel. And many of our students are already worried about saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, hurting their classmates or their friends, but they want to learn. Yusuf Miller is with the North County Equity and Justice Coalition. If we have more inclusive thought, if we have more um, diverse thought and, and knowledge about different groups, this type of statements would have never come out. My bottom line is a we request Dr. Wards to resign. The San Diego School Board will have the last word on the superintendent's future. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.